It's the NFL on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC West. It's the Chiefs and the Bulls, and it's coming up next. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. CD, everybody loves to see the deep ball. We know that. We got a couple of quarterbacks here who can really sling it. Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs, Justin Herbert of the Chargers. I like your point there, partner, because it is back in vogue. And what I mean is taking the shots downfield because for a long time in this league, it was all about precision passing. The West Coast offense. But now we've got a couple of guys here who'll take some shots downfield and they have some receivers who can go get it. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And we are underway in Southern California. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Well, the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And while I don't equate starting record as a quarterback to pitchers in baseball, it still gives us a great baseline. And Patrick Mahomes, 38-8 as a starting quarterback for Kansas City in the regular season, throwing 6-2 in the playoffs, including a Super Bowl 54 victory, you've got one of the best ones in the game. And if you're a Kansas City fan, how excited are you? He signed through 2031. He will be your quarterback for a long time. On first down, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Mahomes now on first down. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. From the 25 on second down, Mahomes. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep here, Andre Roberts.
It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers set to go on offense for the first time, and they are led by the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2020. Now in his second season out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. About the only thing that didn't go right for Justin Herbert in his rookie season, the team's overall record. The Offensive Rookie of the Year in the NFL was the fourth rookie with over 4,000 yards passing, just 38 yards short of the rookie record set by Andrew Luck in 2012. In addition, he set the single-season record for passing touchdowns by a rookie with 31, breaking the mark of Cleveland's Baker Mayfield. This young man's potential, limitless. That's why so many people wanted to be the next head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers and help open up the stadium big in 2021. Seven yards to pick up there. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. First down, it's Herbert. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And he's brought down. But Justin Herbert looking comfortable here in season number two. He looked comfortable in season number one, for that matter. But what's the game plan for defending and trying to limit him? Oh, you've asked a really difficult question there because you're right. Year one, he looked like a five, seven-year veteran. And he's only going to continue to get better. But with a guy who throws such a pretty ball, and has such a great arm. Throwing the long ball has got to be a blast for him. He wants to push the ball downfield. Doesn't mean he can't make all the other throws, but I want to take those away first and make him beat me by being accurate and dinking and dunking all the way downfield. So first and 10 now from the 30. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. About three yards there to the 27. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Oh, fighting off the defender. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. 
Back to throw here, Herbert. Quick hit it here, it's complete. And the Chargers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. And he powers through the first way, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. It's a nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone, but a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. Second and goal from the six this time. On the give, this is Eckler. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And Eckler will not get there. Great defense at the point of attack. Going to stop him short of the first down. Only a yard that time. So now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They snap it to Herbert. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chargers have taken a first-quarter lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to it all loose. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. The Holmes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. 
This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they've got it second down and 12. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards alone. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Tommy Townsend now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Justin Herbert leading this unit out for their next possession. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. On second and ten, Herbert. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now it's Herbert. Flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and ten. And now here comes Kansas City. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Hilaire. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them? 
And do I have enough confidence to make a play? Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. More from L.A. in a moment. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Edwards Alaire on the counter. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. More from L.A. in a moment. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Man open is Robinson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? An extra quarterback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards alone. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Three yards remain for second down. The handoff, it's Eckler, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. 
Eckler, they run left side. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And some strong running. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Tyron Matthew, the all-pro, up to make the stop. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Herbert's throw taken in by Cook. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 44-yard line. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 44-yard line. Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler. That catch good for only a couple. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. To the air again, Herbert. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cook. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. From the four, it's second and a couple. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chargers. From four yards out. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Now 
Lawrence Hopkins to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. With them losing here in the second quarter and his limited productivity so far, you'd have to think they're going to try to look to him a little bit more, right? I would guess you would start to see maybe some quick screens, some hitches, anything to get the ball in his hands quickly and let him try and do some damage after the catch. Or maybe just flip some formations and keep him isolated where it's more of a one-on-one -on -one route and get the ball to him. I say just four verts, right? Hey, why not? Four <laughs> verts, one of the best routes in football. Hard to cover each guy all the way along the route. So far, just one catch for him. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Joey Bosa credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack it's second and 20 looking to throw is Mahomes now a swing pass it's Edwards Alaire and he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line a good pickup but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for Kansas City. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, they had a little more success than their counterparts did in the passing game, as evidenced by the numbers there. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. It's complete to Cook. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner round it's extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 50 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. First downs have not come easy, and neither of runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, Eckler. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. First down, Justin Herbert. He'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Four yards remain for second down. Draw play, it's Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Herbert on first down now. Williams brings it in. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football.
from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown. Josh Palmer there to make the grab. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive, they really increased their cushion. Felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now 21 to nothing. will kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. First and ten, here's Mahomes. He'll drop that off to Edwards Alaire. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling. Held it to an okay game. He'll get three up to midfield. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him, man. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Not the kind of game that we'll go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Cloud Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. 
Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this will do the job nicely as that will be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. The Charger drive about to get going. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now it's Herbert. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Palmer. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Herbert. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Chiefs with a football buck with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. To throw, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. First and 10 at the 19. Throwing now is Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman from 19 yards away. And the Chiefs are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. 
Yeah, if you kept him out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on him. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've and now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. After review of the play, Willie let it be okay. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to the drive there only spanning three plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Roberts electing not to try it, and this will come out to the 25. Austin Eckler in the Charger offense reclaims center stage. And as we peer at the numbers, he got off to a struggling start, but since then really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence, if you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases, you know? Find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. The Charger drive about to get going. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Complete pass. Here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. 53 to Mike. 53. Out of the gun, Herbert. Forced out to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. The Chargers on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Herbert. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. Chris Jones in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Here's Ty Long now, as he's on to punt for L.A. So possession goes over here on the punt, and possession will switch hands first and ten. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer. 
but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 34. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They're down two scores, and they need a quick one to try and get back into this one. That was one way to try and get it done. Unsuccessful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Mahomes. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down Let's go. conversion. Let's go. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? From midfield, here's Mahomes. He'll swing this one out to Edwards Alaire. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And again, it's Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. Oh, look at the juke. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Mahomes now on first down. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. That catch good for only a couple. If you run an out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Ball at the nine on second and eight. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. 
Working from the gun, Mahomes. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously, twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score games still. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Able to make one man miss, but he will be corralled around the 10-yard line. 66 yards rushing for him now to this point. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Eckler are going to get it again on second down. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a give running left is Eckler. Now room for Eckler. And some room to maneuver. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. They'll run here with Eckler. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down at 12. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because 
We've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just the week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.